It's a science convention, and parents along with the community are invited to Portola High School. On display, aquaponics farming system using goldfish to grow plants. It's really cool to be able to um, make something that grows lettuce um, from just using like fish waste to fertilize it. When they're building these systems, they're doing a lot of research on their own and they are tasked with designing their system, building it, and then also troubleshooting any issues that are coming up. Resolving issues is part of the process to making these systems work. What do they do when they encounter them that's important? So how can we use what we know about science and use logic to help us solve them? Karish explains in his team of eight, there was one collecting data, another in charge of plants, someone else overseeing efficiency, and his role? Well, my role was an engineer. I was in charge of building our entire system. It, it was fun to work, like, to build something, uh, like, from scratch with uh, no materials and stuff. Yeah, it was a good experience. The experience in honors has let me, like, actually build a system of aquaponics, which was, like, really great. And working with other people, like, figuring out how to, like, mesh certain, like, how to be compatible with certain people, how to include all these ideas, it was a really good experience because, like, going further on in my life, I need to learn how to work better with people. And it's this project-based learning for the 21st century skills that teaches content and tools needed in the future. Presentation, speaking and listening, and if I can learn how to do that here, then when I, no matter what I do, if I go to school or I get a job, these are skills that are going to really transcend all those types of things. For Cindy, it's given her an idea as to what it's like to be in public relations. I was a publicist and it taught me how to reach out to people, um, professionalism in general, and like how the real world works and how you're supposed to spread like information that you find. Iman was the engineer on Cindy's team. Using power tools, she says, was exciting, but there's more. Especially that our system is working, our fish are active and healthy, our plant grew a lot. Like, we were able to actually create a system that grew the plant, which is something I'm really proud of. The students are presenting to teachers, parents, as well as to Cheryl Parsons with the Irvine Ranch Water District. Their presentation skills are great. Uh, like their problem solving and being able to show us that uh, this group, this generation is going to solve our problems in terms of environmental, space, overpopulation, that's really encouraging. It's a lot of work that the students put in throughout the year and it's just super exciting to see it all come together in a day where they can really share what they've learned and kind of celebrate all their hard work for the semester. This is the school's fourth annual aquaponics convention. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twag.